So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, another 70 kilogram contest with Ireland versus Spain. Neil McGreevy from Ireland faces Mark Dasray from Spain in a KWU Senshi contest. This is Muay Thai rules. And I can tell you that Neil McGreevy has come for business. This guy, I mean, you can never judge a book by, its, by his appearance in this game. But Neil McGreevy is dangerous. And I'm joined on the commentary here with another legend from the K1 era, Albert Kraus. Albert, you know, it's another, it's an honor. I've said it to Ernesto and Andy. It's an absolute, I'm not just happy to commentate with you guys. I'm, a, I'm not a fanboy, but I have to be. You guys are just bring energy with you wherever you go. And when you're called legends, you truly are legends. So us to you and thank you for your contributions and showing the world what kickboxing really can be. Yeah, we, we had a good hobby and a... Uh... <laughs> good hobby. <Yeah. laughs> well, it was a good uh, hobby uh, and we it paid well, good, we I believe. A, we did a good job, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was saying to oh, Ernesto there, wow. you know, K1 didn't make you guys. You guys made K1. Yeah, but we did it all together, I think, yeah. Yeah, well, Holland just dominated back then, didn't it? And it still does, really, in, in, uh, in kickboxing. Yeah, Holland does, did some good things in the kickboxing. And still, if you see now, Holland is still some good, really good fighters. So here we are then, first round of this KWU Govan Senshi fight here. This is Muay Thai rules, so elbows allowed. And you can see a different style immediately as these guys start from the uh, from the K1 rules, the kickboxing rules of the previous two fights. But they are both uh, very tall, 70 kilo fighters. Yeah, long, rangy. And they might they might not have the true power of the heavyweights, but their shins are sharp. Yeah, for sure. When yeah. they're low kicks. Um, and when they're rangy like this, you have to be careful of knees and elbows. You can see the Spaniard there, Mark Dasray, with his um, Thai tattoos across his chest. He's obviously been to Thailand training, and he actually, he's got a huge record. He's had um, 94 wins uh, as a professional with 64 KOs. So, uh, you know, he's got the power. And uh, Neil McGreevy from Ireland here, um, he's he's much much less experienced, yeah. but knocked out eight of his opponents. So they've both got some knockout power. They're very composed. And this round, you feel, as in the Muay Thai, they're feeling each other out. But this isn't five rounds. This is three rounds. You haven't really got time to no, feel yeah. your opponent out you in a three-round fight. Every round. Now, that was great there because yeah. I, you hear his corner, Neil McGreevy's corner was saying one, two, straight down the middle, and he did immediately yeah. what his corner said. Yeah, you see, it's very important to listen to the corner. It's always important. And for the corner, it's, it's very good if your boy listen to, to what you are saying. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. Sometimes you hear corners yeah. and they're just shouting nonsense. Yeah, go, go oh, forward, yeah, go yeah, forward. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's, no, there's no substance into what they're saying. Yeah, many times you see the corners are m uh, more nervous than, than the fighters <laughs> itself. Yeah. yeah. Well, especially with, you, with somebody like you whose son is, a, is an up-and-coming fighter. Yeah, but, but uh, I always have a trust in him, so... Uh, so I know what he can do and what he's able to. Right, there we come to the end of the first round. Now that's a difficult one to score. I, I'm going to give it a, just by a smidge. I know that a judge is going to score that a 10-10. They're going to yeah, give that a draw. It was difficult. Yeah, yeah. Now, it was a very close round. I don't know about you, Albert, but I can't stand it when judges score around a draw. Um, I think it's cowardly scoring. Yeah, but, but if you have to score this round now for yourself, it's very difficult. Very difficult? It's very difficult, yeah. 
But at world-class level, you have to find something to separate them. Yeah, and then even sometimes you see the, the, the fight go on. First, the blue, uh, first uh, part of the round, the blue corner Second wins, and the, the red corner comes back. And that's something that yeah. uh, I think the um, audience don't see. No, yeah. Because you might see something flashy at the end of yeah. the round. Yeah. Which you think, oh, he won the end of the round. The, yeah. He won the round, but, but the, but the other guy's yeah. dominated yeah. for the first two minutes. So it's oh. very difficult. And the same with an overall fight. You can finish the fight in the third round, dominate, yeah. but you lost the first two rounds. Yeah, then it's also a loss, huh? We both give a good elbow. Yeah, more elbows in this oh, yeah. round there. The Spaniards Oi. throwing elbows. Oh. They want to break a nose, I think. Well, our referee there, Krasimir Dimov, getting right in between them. Now, a lot of single techniques here being thrown, nothing sort of being set up. Yeah, but it's a little bit like Thai style, and the Thai, the Thai boys also are single things. That was a glancing elbow there from McGreevy. And those yeah. those elbows that come across yeah, can I open you up. There he, he has cut the Spaniard. Yeah, he, the Spaniard boy has already cut the, uh, above his eye. Oh, and the uh, Irish guy has a... a a black eye. <laughs> yes. Yeah, each other. Ooh, Ooh, another. Those are elbows in close. Yeah, they are really mean elbows. Oh, again. Ooh. If you like the fight with elbows, then this is a good fight to see. Now, McGreevy, as you say, Albert McGreevy's left eye there swelling yeah, rapidly. Swelling, yeah, yeah. So I wonder if he, now adrenaline can mask the pain w w yeah. during a fight, but I wonder if he feels that. <laughs> Takes him down again. And he's gonna do two things. The Spaniard there is cut. And I can remember in my uh, poor fighting career, um, if you got cut and you felt the blood, it can do two things to you. It can, it can make you apprehensive because yeah. you've been cut, or you think, right, let's go. Yeah. I've got to do something. Yeah, of course. And you, you cannot see for yourself how big is the cut and what shall, shall the referee do. And it's actually upsetting sometimes if a fight, you're going to have a fantastic fight that stopped because of a cut. Yeah, and, and that's always too bad, yeah. You know, you can see the reasoning yeah. if the cut is above the eye and affecting the vision, but if it's below the eye... Yeah, then they, they win the fight on. And in this second round, they're both looking for those elbow strikes. Yeah, they throw a lot of elbows, even if they are too far away. And Mark Desray there coming forward with punches. No, oh, nice, yeah. nice right hand and elbow there from McGreevy. McGreevy's left eye closing up. Yes. That's the end yeah. of the second round. And well. I'm going to give it 10-9 in the first round to McGreevy and 10-9 the second round to the Spaniard. I don't know about you, Albert. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, I didn't score the, the fight. I only watched... <laughs> Too busy I watching watched, the action. Yeah, the, the, the action and the elbows. Yeah, I mean, that, this is a... But uh, the Spanish guy has a, has a cut and the Irish guy has an, uh, a really... Uh, that's uh, swelling. Bruce, yeah, swelling over his eye. We've got both cuts men here from Senshi. Yeah. A cuts man in each corner. They're independent, yeah, but, but they're working on the guys. Some, some, sometimes it can be very important in a fight. Then it's really useful. Yeah, a good a good cuts man yeah. can save you. Yeah. If you see now already the the eye is a little bit thinner, I think. Or, yeah, he, he had yeah, the ice yeah. the ice compress on there for yeah. the majority of that rest period. So it will be come yeah. back, but now for now it, it helped, uh, it helped in, uh, between the rounds. Well, we're in the final round. And you see the Spaniard there holding on to the knee. He was looking to throw McGreevy down to the, to the canvas there. 
Not allowed in K1 rules, of course, in kickboxing rules, but here with our Senshi Muay Thai rules, it's perfectly okay. And you just feel that at any second, one of these guys could unload. There's another elbow. Another, they exchange elbows. They give an elbow for the fun. <laughs> wow. Nice low kick, followed up by an elbow from McGreevy. And it's interesting sometimes, you know the difference between just normal kickboxing and Muay Thai? Muay Thai can look a little bit lazy. Yeah. Um, Relax slowly. But everything's damaging. Yeah. Nice knee from McGreevy and followed up by an elbow. The Spaniard's looking a little bit... He's breathing heavy. I'm not saying he's slowing down. But they've got to realise that this is the third and final round and neither of them have dominated the fight so much that they can relax. So we're coming up to the final minute of this third round. And McGreevy's corner telling him, last minute, last minute. And you've got to agree, Al, but you can't, you never want to leave it to the judges, do you? No, no, for sure not. For sure not, you want to do it, to be sure. And with the result in the judges' hands, you are never sure. Yeah. I mean, it springs to mind. For McGreevy to be sure, to be sure. Let's go now, come on. Beautiful. And McGreevy oh, is the busier keep, guy now. Keeping throwing elbows. And his left oh, eye again. is closed up now. And it's great advice, great advice from the Irishman's corner. And the Spaniard is definitely tired now. Yeah. So here we come up to the, the final bell of the final round. And McGreevy raises his hand there. What a fight. Both of them took damage. Yeah. The left eye there of McGreevy, bruised and swollen. The Spaniard there, Marcus Ray, sits down in his corner with fatigue. And he was cut, but the cuts men did their job. Yeah, they, they did a really good job. They stopped the bleeding. Now, I'll lay it on the line here. And on my scorecard, I'm going to give it two rounds to one to the blue corner. Yeah, I think the same. And in the ring now, looking very sharp indeed is Mr. Paul Hennessy. He's the president of the ISKA. And for those people who don't know, the, the ISKA oversee, govern uh, so many kickboxing events and mixed martial arts now around the world. This guy's in a different country every few days. And it's sort of what I would say one of the unsung heroes of the game. Because without the governing bodies, these independent People overseeing rules, regulations, judging and refereeing, you know, the sport would be a shambles. The official scorecard from the judges. Judge one, 28 to 29. Judge two, 28 to 29. Judge three, 27 to 29 Ooh. in favor of the red corner. Mark okay. Ooh. We well, something else. Oh. Well, uh, well, I don't know what to say. Um, Neil McGreevy can't agree, can't uh, believe it. Neil McGreevy can't agree it. Um, the Spaniard doesn't look overly ecstatic. Um, well, well, come on, Albert. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm also. Are you shocked? Um, yeah. But let, let's just uh, let's just say something that Muay Thai is scored differently to kickboxing. Yeah, for sure. This is one 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 point. 
And to be honest, I didn't really watch uh, who scores who, but I thought the the Irish boy did a little bit more. Well, but, the Irish boy was busier. But, uh, he landed yeah. more shots, and uh, the Spaniard was very this, tired. Beside this, I think the audience had, uh, saw saw a good fight. Yeah, I mean, um, at the end of the day, the people who are the real winners are the people watching the fights. Yeah. Um, it was a cracking fight, but um, who am I to disagree with our yeah. judges? We've got three judges, one on each side, but and I can actually see there the judges are going and checking the scorecards, so um, there's never any funny business here at Senchi, I can assure you, and the Spaniard wouldn't wouldn't be a, a home favourite. 